The reason why fake pastors, fake prophets, fake evangelists are striving in our days today is because you refuse to hear the word of God. You refuse to hear the voice of God. You refuse to hear everything that God wants you to hear. You refuse to believe in God personally. And that is why anybody can come out discussing himself to be a true prophet of God. He arises, he's a false prophet. And you are still going to believe him because you can't hear your God. Do you serve an idol? Do you serve a demon? Do you serve a man made God that cannot speak? We serve a living God. We don't serve a dead God. Our God speaks. Our God hears. Our God communicates. If you have a father and you can communicate your father, is that a father? If you have God, you can communicate with your God, is that a God? If you have Jesus Christ and you can communicate with him, do you think you have Jesus? Readdress your stand between you and God. The reason why I'm trying to tell you this is because Time is coming and the time is now. Hello, good morning and welcome back to my channel. I am Okocha Happy Marcel. Yeah, this afternoon I want to speak with you on how so many Christians are under their pastors, under their prophets, under their apostles, under their evangelists without being under Jesus Christ why so many christians are under their pastors and not under jesus christ now quickly i want to put a disclaimer that i am not making this video to criticize the offices in the body of jesus christ i'm talking about the apostles the prophets the pastors because they are being made for the perfection of the body of christ and i believe every believer should find themselves in one of these offices and i also want to let you know that faith comes by hearing hearing by the word of god so somebody must teach you somebody must bring to you the word of god then you believe in you have access to the working of the holy spirit and everything in christ now quickly i want us to look into this bible first first timothy chapter 2 verse 5 it says that for there is one God and there is one mediator between God and man, which is Jesus Christ. For there is only one God and there is only one mediator between God and man, which is Jesus Christ. I want to explain my concept very well so that you will not have misconception on this video. I am making this video for you to readdress your stand with God. I'm making this video to tell you the personal relationship you ought to have between you and God, between you and Jesus Christ. I am making this video for you to know the importance of the death of Jesus Christ to you. I am making this video because God loves you personally. God did not love you because of your church. God did not love you because of your pastor. But am I against you being an under a pastor? No. Of which we all in our various assemblies, we have pastors, we have prophets, and so many of them are doing perfectly good. Now, this is my concept. A lot of Christians have been going to church for 30 years, for 20 years, for 15 years, 10 years, 5 years, some 1 year, some 2 years. You have been in Christ for all these days, or you have claimed to be in Christ for all these years. And for good 30 years, you have been serving God. You've never heard from this God. You've never talked to this God. You don't have a personal encounter with this God. You don't have something to say that I am a witness. You can't even talk your experience with God. And you are going to church. And you relied on your prophet, on your apostle, on your pastor to talk to God for you, to pray for you always, to God, to speak to God always for you, also to hear from God always for you. If you are in this category, you don't know God yet. You don't know God yet. And you are not under God, but you are under your prophet. You are under your pastor. If you are in this category, where you believe that if you want to talk to God, you go to your pastor, you don't know God. You are under your pastor and not under Jesus Christ. I know this video may sound somehow, but that is the truth. Because we are saved by faith and we believe in Christ because we know that Christ has 
is an access for us to communicate to God through him. So, the Bible verse I read, 1 Timothy chapter 2 verse 5, it says that we have only one mediator. Now, I am not saying it is wrong for your pastor to pray for you. We pray for each other. We advise each other. Your pastor can pray for you, equip you. The word pastor is pastors of soul. The work of your pastor is to teach you the word of God, raise you to that standard where you will be independent be between you and God. Nobody will stand between you and God. If you have been taught that the reason why you are going to church is just for you to be under grace of somebody, maybe the grace of that person will cover you, the grace of a pastor will cover you, you just be under somebody without having an access to Christ, you know you are being deceived. Don't let this video to sound somehow to you. That is why I really want you to understand my concept. That you ought to have a personal relationship between you and God. That you ought to talk to God by yourself. Then, that was about getting to 15 to 17 years ago, when I was in my country, a lady came to our priest and knocked very early in the morning and the priest opened the door and said, Priest, please pray for me. Pray for me. I'm having a stomach pain. <laughs> the priest shouted at her and said, Please pray for me. Please pray for me. Are you not a human being? Can't you pray for yourself? And so many people criticized the priest. But I got the concept. Your pastor, pray for me. Pastor, pray for me. Pastor, pray for me. Don't you believe in Jesus? Don't you know that the pastor praying for you is not wrong and you praying for yourself is not wrong? Where is your God? Do you believe in Jesus? And if you do, what are the evidences that you believe in Christ? For we live by faith and not by sight. Now, let me read another chapter and verse of the Bible in the book of Acts of the Apostles, chapter 4, verse 12. Acts of the Apostles, chapter 4, verse 12. It says, Salvation exists in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given to men by which we must be saved. There is no other name given to man under heaven by which men can be saved. It's only Jesus Christ. It's only Jesus Christ. Please, I just want to tell you the simple truth. You've got to have a personal relationship with God. Let your pastor teach you on how to have a personal relationship with God. If your pastor can hear from God, you can hear from God because both of you believe in God. Unless you don't believe in God, or unless your pastor does not believe in God, you are thinking you believe. Christ has paid the price. If your pastor can preach, if your pastor can pray, if your pastor can prophesy, then members should be able to prophesy as well. Unless the pastor is serving a different God from what the congregations are trying to know. You have free access to God. The Bible says that in the olden days, that God speaks to man through the prophets. But now, God speaks to us through his spirit in us that cries, Abba, Father. Access. The word is access. A-C-C-E-S-S. -S. Access. We have the access to speak to God. When I was going through life in the spirit seminar, the first topic they taught me is that God the Father loves me personally. God the Father loves me personally. In other words, God did not love me because of anybody. I have a Father. I can speak with Him. He can speak to me. The reason why fake pastors, fake prophets, fake evangelists are striving in our days today is because you refuse to hear the word of God. You refuse to hear the voice of God. You refuse to hear everything that God wants you to hear. You refuse to believe in God personally. And that is why anybody can come out discussing himself to be a true prophet of God. Realize he is a false prophet. And you are still going to believe him. Because you can hear your God. Do you serve an idol? Do you serve a demon? Do you serve a man-made God? 
that cannot speak. We serve a living God. We don't serve a dead God. Our God speaks. Our God hears. Our God communicates. If you have a father and you can't communicate to your father, is that a father? If you have God, you can't communicate with your God, is that a God? If you have Jesus Christ and you can't communicate with him, do you think you have Jesus? Readdress your stand between you and God. The reason why I'm trying to tell you this is because time is coming and the time is now. The manifestations of false prophets, the manifestation of devil in the name of pastors will be spread abroad. And so many people will be deceived. Bible have foretold about this. The Bible have foretold about this. And it is going to be spreading right from this very moment as never before. The only thing that you can be saved with is your personal relationship between you and God. If somebody comes to you and say, God save you, say, okay, let me hear from God. Let God speak to me. Let God speak to me. It's your responsibility to address your relationship between you and God. Go and address it. If you still stay no more, if you sin, try to be righteous. Try to flee from everywhere sin appear. Try to address your personal relationship between you and God. Because if you don't do that, if you do not start hearing from God now, a lot of things that will come your way, that will just push you out of God, that will just push you away and deceive you, throw you to where you don't even expect. Jesus Christ loves you. God loves you. Not because of your pastor. Not because of what you do. See, we are saved by grace, not of work. There's any man should boast. Everything you have today is by grace. Not of your work. It is by grace. I want you to always walk in the spirit because the perilous times has come. The perilous time has come. Walk in the spirit and not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Believe me, God loves you. You can speak to God. You can talk to God. And God can use you to do anything that he wants to do. Thank you for having time to watch this video. I am Okocha Happy myself. See you on my next video. Shalom.